Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a special request. So I've had one specific person specifically ask me to make this video for them, but it's kind of been a pretty general question that I get not only from my subscribers, but as well from pet parents, clients of mine um, throughout the years, because not all dogs like to stand up to have their nails trimmed. Some of them do have health conditions, some of them might be a little overweight, some might be old. Whatever the reason is, they find it most effective and most comfortable for their pet to be laying down uh, during the process of having their nails clipped. So, I'm here to help you out. So this isn't gonna be necessarily a how-to on how to clip nails as short as possible or how to cut them uh, so that they don't bleed, how to receive, oh, my cat's marching on in here. Um, so it, it's not gonna be a video necessarily about that. I do have other videos like that on my channel that you can find and that you can use to help guide you um, while you are trimming the nails. But this is just about how to get your dog comfortable with laying down if they don't already love it, um, different tips and tricks for the process, and then also foot position, leg position. How exactly can you go about trimming nails while they are laying down? So that's what this is. <laughs> So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need nail clippers of your choice. I have this brand here. This is the one I like. This is the one I use. I'm not too picky. I just do not like the guillotine style. That's my only preference, but they do need to be pretty sturdy. Generally, I wouldn't really cheap out on your nail clippers. You will also need a nail grinder as well. And this is the one that I use and like. And I do have a video where I go over nail grinders and make a couple recommendations. And this one is in that one. It's at the very end. So you have to stick around until the end of the video to find out more about this one. Um, quick stop. Very important. Stop the bleeding if you nick it. I'm pretty good. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've clicked a nail, but I keep it handy because it's very important to have just in case. Rather have it than you know be looking for it kind of thing. You will also need treats of any kind. I've got a giant bag here. Oh, <laughs> and here comes my dog. She heard the treat bag. She knows what's what's good. Uh, but yeah, this is it's important to have some rewards. It can be anything. And <laughs> also a leash. Um, I don't think I'll need it for her necessarily because we're pretty used to the whole process, but putting a leash on your dog, having them contained is pretty important to being able to do this correctly. So I'm gonna clip on my leash. Now this might be hard because my dogs are quite used to the process and they are used to standing. This is something that I've trained them to do, so this is gonna be a bit more difficult because I work very hard to train them that way. So it's gonna be breaking a little bit of habits. Can you roll? Good girl. So I'm gonna try and just get her comfortable into a laying position and I'm gonna feed her treats. This is gonna be step number one. Roll. <laughs> Such a clown. Hey. Can you go sit and down? Oh, <laughs> not all the way roll. Okay. Okay. So we have lots of treats. Now we have the nail clipper. So obviously this top paw is gonna be a little bit easier. So she's in her down. She's nice and relaxed. Good girl. <laughs> she's not used to it. She's like, what are you doing to me? But this is a nice, easy way to get this top paw. And I do find that kind of hovering over top, not going in between um, the legs is a little bit easier because then I can position the paws <laughs> to be a bit more, um, to be facing me, I guess, is, is the word I'm looking for. 
So as you can see, she's laying on her side. And when I did this top one, I'm just holding it so that I can see the underneath of it. I'm using my one finger to extend. You can see how long it is. I've been growing them out so I could cut them on camera. And yeah, that's how I would do this. You can grab this one. This is her secondary front paw. She's nice over that. She's such a good girl. And then I'm just lifting it up again so I can see the bottom of it. And then trimming this way. The pots come off because I've been neglectful. Okay. I'm gonna do back feet and then I'm gonna show you how to grind as well. And as I always say, do what works best. If you can only clip, you can only clip. If you can only grind, you can only grind. But you know, two is better than one, but do what you have to do. So I'm just gonna slide you, Lottie. Back feet, same idea. I've got it here, I'm lifting. I might have to kind of position my head where I come around the back. They're actually quite short still, but um, I'm only lifting it up like this and I'm looking at it from underneath. Same with this one. Sometimes when you're doing these back ones, it does help. Hang on, Lottie. There you go. Stay. To be closer to their bum. <laughs> Lay down. There you go. So if <laughs> she's like, what are you doing to me? A treat. Lay down. Yeah, good girlie. So as I'm doing these back ones, it does help to be, you can kind of lean on the floor here, but either way you can lift these legs and still look from underneath and be able to trim it that way. Pretty simple and easy and uh, very doable if you want your dog to lay down. Now, I'm gonna get in there with the grinder. We're gonna be doing the same thing. So, you just, for the front feet, I'm holding the paw at an angle like this. Ooh, I'm dying. Of course I am. But uh, this helps so that I can see it, same thing. I'm grabbing the, the secondary paw, the paw that's underneath on her other side, and I'm lifting. Nice and simple. Back feet, lift up, straight up into the air. That is the easiest. Same thing, you can pull, you see a little chicken leg there. <laughs> you just pull it straight up. Because it's not, because I'm, I'm bending over and accommodating, I'm not really lifting this too far. So it should still be comfortable. You can go quite low to the ground as well. Like, so I can trim, this is her underneath paw here. Let me. See if I can get you a little lower. So this is her underneath paw here. Now, if I didn't want to pull it up for whatever reason, maybe she has bad joints and she is unable to physically lift that paw, you can keep it closer to the floor, but still be able to trim it that way. So it is an option to keep it very close to the floor, like barely lift it off and be able to still trim it so that you can um, get those nails done still. And the same goes for the back legs as well. So this is her underneath. Maybe she's got bad hips. I don't wanna be pulling this leg up, although that's still a very comfortable position. At least it should be. Oh, there goes a fly. <laughs> but <laughs> you can uh, still trim it. You might wanna move their tail if they have a fluffy tail the way she does. But you can put it, oh, 
how is everyone supposed to see? So you can put it, let me slide you, close to the floor, I'm gonna back out. So you can keep it quite close to the floor and you can trim it that way. So you can kind of push the nail out so you can see better and still trim it quite close to the floor. You don't necessarily need to pull it up, but I mean, obviously it just helps to have a visual and it helps to not uh, click them because you can actually see the veins quite well from the bottom um, as opposed to when you're looking from above. So that's a nice, easy, simple way to do it. Okay, this is my other dog, Otis. And I think he might be a better candidate for a um, different way of laying. He's very into the treats. So same thing, I'm gonna leash him up and we're gonna get him to lay down. Leash, get some treats, sit, good boy. So I'm gonna try and get him to lay just like this. So Lottie was laying on her side but I'm going to try and get him to just lay this way. As I've said, I've worked really hard over the years to train them to be standing when they get their nails done. So it might be a little bit confusing of uh, what I want from them because we just haven't um, done this over the years. So it's a little bit of a different ask for us. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take their foot and curl it under. Move you down so you can see. So we're in the belly down. And we're gonna curl that foot. And that's just like that. Now if you can get their head out of the way, obviously that's a bonus, but the, see the way I'm holding on? I'm kind of coming over his body. So this prevents unwanted movement as well. And then it also, is almost like a restraint, right? So they know they can't get away. All right, so that's how to do the one side. The same thing goes for the other side. Just gonna deep, get my leash underneath his paw here. Curl under. I'm gonna bring you around so you can see better. Okay, curl under. Of course, my hand's in the way. But it's the same concept. So you just curl under the side. Let me bring you around the other side. This is just kind of ridiculous here. Getting cam camera angles isn't my forte. I'm a groomer. I am not a camera person. Down. Let's try this. I know there's a fly. Yeah, come down, good boy. Down, down, good boy. Okay, turning the foot just like that. And make my way across. Bada bing, bada, oh, you can barely see. So just like that, curled under and trim. Nice and simple. So what you're gonna wanna do is hold the foot straight out parallel. So you're coming at an angle like this. So straight out parallel, the other foot is tucked up right here. And then you can hold it straight out and clip it this way. Nice and simple if they cooperate. And then the other foot's in a fairly decent position already. So it's laying where you can see, oh my gosh, my cat is like all over the treats here. But it's pretty easy to see the bottoms already. So you just kind of get in at this angle here. You can use your finger to push out the toe that you wish to clip. Now he's not a big fan of the grinder, so he might try and stand up, but I have his leash tucked underneath my leg, but I'm gonna turn it on first. 
But see how you can grind in this position as well. Hold the leg straight out. Yeah, very easy. Same with the front. So see how he's laying with legs straight out. We're going to bend it just like this, resting the foot forward. If you need to, you can get your shoulder in front. See, he might want to bite it. I don't think he would, but I don't want his face to get hurt, so. It's a fairly simple method. But yeah, and you would do the other side that way as well. You can get them up, turn them around um, to lay on the other side. He's going against the wall right now, so it would be a little difficult to do the opposite front foot on the other side without getting him to turn around. But once you get him to turn around and lay in that position, you just simply tuck it up like this so that you can see the bottom. But that's really all there is to it. It's really not a super difficult um, position for, I do it a lot for elderly dogs. I do it a lot for um, ones that have difficulty standing, whether it's joint problems, if they're obese uh, or anything like that, then it is a, a pretty simple method. We'll get a good spot. So that's it, you can really trim your dog's nails in whatever way works for them because making it easier for them is going to make it easier for you.